this video, I wanted to cover a blitzing concept that we saw from Lambo out of the Dime 146 in the most recent MCS Unstoppable Challenge event. And this is out of 146 for the coach adjustments for this. You're going to have auto flip defense play call off and auto flip or auto alignment to base. Now you're going to be using this, um, this crossfire three, if I can find it. This is uh, the blitz. Now the cool part about this is you do have the ability to come out in the double safety walk down and audible into this, uh, which, you know, you could do that as well. This is in the Vikings defensive playbook. I think this is very quickly becoming the clear cut best defensive playbook in the game. And uh, both of the finalists for the last live event was using this playbook. We have a full defensive ebook on this playbook in our school community. If you're not a member of the school community yet, the link is in the description. 10 bucks gets you access to all the ebooks for Madden and for College Football 25. Now, one little tip here is when you audible to crossfire, you're going to see, you see how this guy, uh, this defensive lineman takes this little step uh, to the right side of the screen. What we're going to do is we're just going to shift the D line to the left side. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is if you do come out in this and audible, sometimes this slot corner can move so you can kind of click onto them uh, to avoid that. But basically, once you do that, you're just going to slant your D line to the left and you're going to QB contain. So you see this kind of creates this crossfire type of blitz concept. From there, pretty much unanimously, you're seeing a lot of cover four uh, just because it helps defend the seam streaks. And as you see here, you're going to get this crossfire blitz uh, to be very, very effective as a four-man little blitzing concept in this defense. Now, you don't even necessarily have to move uh, this, this defensive tackle all the way over here. You could just leave him as is. And oftentimes this will still work as you see. Uh, but this, when you do shift this guy, what this shift is going to do is you're going to be able to basically, um, not be able to get a easy pack pass protection for your opponent. So one of the main ways that people will try to block this blitz is they'll double team this D tackle. This makes this, uh, blitz come in off of the outside edge, as you can see. And so it's kind of a harder pickup. And basically the whole idea here is you just put them in a position where they have to block the running back off of a send four. And then if you wanted to kind of finish out the scheme a little bit, you could go to something like this strong Eagle slant three. Again, I would move these corners and then shift this line to the right. And what you're going to see here is now this blitz concept is going to look exactly like the crossfire, but now you're going to go to the middle like this and you can get this guy to loop around the edge, uh, kind of like that. And then lastly, what you can do is you could go to a DB sting, uh, DB sting type of look or DB sting to buzz. If you wanted the zone, the zone version, again, walk these slot corners off like this, get back to your user. I like the kind of user over in here. And now you can start to send five once they start to block their running back as you can see really clean pressure at the quarterback so this dime 146 uh little mini scheme here is really really good and the cool part is you can you can do this uh with the shift of, you don't need this defensive tackle over the center so you can shift this guy and uh, kind of move him around i'll show it to you again here and uh what you'll see let me get back on my user is if we just contain a lot of times this is still going to come in as you see, we're able to get that clean pressure off of that left side with that slot corner. Um, so if you wanted to leave this defensive tackle uh, kind of standard, you would just pinch your D-line instead of shifting them to the right. The only challenge with that is sometimes this four-man uh, can get blocked a little bit easier than it can otherwise. But in general, um, you know, I like to have double or nothing on my DT. But as you can see, this little four-man is very effective. And then as far as covered shells from this, what's effective, what's good covered shells, it's honestly, guys, this year's game uh, is very much so a cover four game. You need these two inside quarters uh, pretty much all the time. You need these quarters. Um, they're really, really helpful in defending the seam streaks that everybody likes to run. So having these quarters on the field is, I think, pretty important this year. And then kind of building your coverage around it uh, is, is really the idea. And you want to be switch sticking a lot. So this is a little uh, crossfire blitz and then a little bit of other things uh, that you can move. But once you move these slot corners, then you can shift this defensive line and then you're pretty much good to go. I like my base shell to be cover four out of this. Thanks for watching the video. If you guys want to get the full defensive ebook, 
Link is in the description in our school community. 10 bucks gets you access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, both for Madden and for College Football 25.